the arm of light on in your life. Romans 13, 12. The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness by putting on the armor of light. With the armor of light in place, darkness can hold you hostage. So the end has come today to all harassments of the past of darkness in your own life. <laughs> Peter was kept in prison. They were rejoicing because the following day was going to be brought out and sentenced to death. But light shined forth in the prison. An angel showed up, tapped Peter, stand up, let's go. Rescue. Triggered by light, verse 7. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. Darkness gave way. Peter's chains fell off. Walked out with dignity. The iron gate lifted up their heads for him. The second gate opened up. Peter said, what? Am I dreaming? No, he was free. Like a dream of the night, as light breaks forth today, the siege of the path of darkness will be gone over in your life. So asset to light, therefore, is the only way to be free from the assault of the powers of darkness. Light, not strength, not might. When light goes off in a room, no matter the strength of the man or the woman, he begins to stumble in his own house. The only way to disarm the harassment of the powers of darkness is to possess light. Light. Satan came against Christ on the month of temptation and he shot the arrows of light at him. It is written, one, it is written, two, it's written, whoa, Satan disappeared. Darkness can never prevail against light. With the light from his world, we have disarmed all the powers of darkness, whether they be witches or wizards. Someone vowed in that testament that we have in this service that someone else will, not get, will never get married. He has to go. She has to go. For that doesn't be open. God so loves you that he can get rid of anybody for your sake. So no devil standing on your way will ever prevail again. He said, arise, shine, because your light is come. No one thinks with light. We shine with light. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. You don't suffer shame with light. No. You experience glory. The Gentiles will come to your light. And they are kings to the brightness of the rising. You don't suffer pity with light. You become the envy of the world. Today marks the end of every form of shame and reproach around your life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Please know that the Holy Spirit does, does not only empower us for triumphant living, but also illuminates us to stay free from all assaults of the powers of darkness. The much we know today in the charismatic is the power content of the Holy Spirit. The 
But power is helpless when confronted by the powers of darkness. Darkness never bows to power. He bows to light. That's why the Holy Ghost has not just come to empower us for victory in battles, but to illuminate us to stay free from the assault of the powers of darkness. When an evil spirit is gone out of a man by the anointing, he goes about in dry places, seeking rest. If you come find him, I'll go back to where I was living away from. Matthew 12, 43 to 45. And when he came, he found it swept, garnished, but empty. Then took seven more wicked spirits than himself. And he came into that place. And the time of that man was worse than the beginning. Many have gotten testimony before. And the testimonies have been converted to trials. Why? Light to keep the testimony alive is not there. Gifts are helpless in a battle against darkness without light. Light is the only way to be free from the siege of darkness. We better come to terms with this. When the comforter has come, he will teach you all things. Call ministry. Read to remember all things, whatever you have heard of him. I have many things to say to you, you can't understand them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, is come, you get into all truth. We shall not speak of himself. Whatever I shall hear, that shall he speak. And we will show you things to come. John 16, 12 to 14. That's his mission. He is the master revelator. He is the master illuminator. So we think we also speak, not with wisdom that man teaches, but with the Holy Ghost teaches, compare the spiritual things with spiritual. He brings you balance insight. Balance insight. Balance insight on issues. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. There are things freely given to us and we are suffering for lack of them because we have not been enlightened by the Holy Spirit. Power has been the emphasis. Get healed, but he gets sick again. Get free, he gets in bondage again. Even Christ, the Bible says the devil left him for a season. He left him for what? For a he says, take scapegoat, he keeps coming. He keeps coming. You don't have light, he overcomes. He overruns you. My people are in captivity because they have no knowledge. It comes to an arrest. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Isaiah 5, 13, Hosea 4, 6. So that's the thing. When one is not saved, he says, <laughs> it's perishing. When you are out of light, you also perish. That tells you how strong light is in our journey as believers. The light shines in dark darkness can't undo it. <laughs> and it's a true light that illuminates everyone that comes to this world. Verse 9. Furthermore, the Holy Spirit empowers us to remain steadfast in serving God, which is the highway of profitable living. Serving God is the way up. Not crying to God. Serving God is the way up. <laughs> Stay steadfastly in service. Keeps life continually profitable. No break. As long as you are in service in any organization, you are a candidate for promotion. If you are productive in your stewardship, it keeps you going. Paul said, Therefore, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abandoning the 
works of the Lord. For, for as much as ye know, you can't be any more steadfast than you know. <laughs> it's a revelation of the mystery of stewardship that keeps you going. <laughs> you can't be any more steadfast than you know. You'll be off and on depending on how much you know. Everybody needs a revelation of the profitability of stewardship to stay in service as much as ye know. As much as ye know. I didn't just catch Matthew 33. I caught a revelation of it. I was illuminated by it. So I've not needed one person to encourage me once. 76 to date. That don't worry, brother David. Things are going to work. It's you who think it's not working. Me? I see it working. I said in 1985, don't think I'm mad. I'm speaking to Christ that you cannot see. I saw me minister to multitudes when we are fut futitude. <laughs> My God. I, I was swimming in the things I saw. Fear not, little flaw. It's a father good pleasure to turn you to a kingdom. To turn you to a kingdom, not to hear you little flow, just remain little. <laughs> little. I said, I saw crowds outside, you can't see you. Sir, even when we move to the ark, there are people outside. Yes, sir. This church, forever. There are people outside. Yes, there are people outside, no matter where, what we build. So it, it's so important to catch a revelation of what is in still worship. It keeps you going like a roller coaster. Every brutal response is like a catalyst. Keeps you going. Every commendation goes to Jesus. And every brutal attack is like you're pouring water on concrete. He strengthens it. Somebody's told is changing. So revelation is everything. Because have respect to the covenant will go up because the darkness of the earth, they are full of the habitation of cruelty. You don't have to do anything before the wicked hates you. The wicked hates you normally. This is Job. Therefore, there is hope for every child of God and be heard in any form of captivity. Your case can never become hopeless. Your case can never become hopeless. Your case can never become hopeless. Yeah. Your case can never become hopeless. Yeah. For him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. Ecclesiastes 9.4 Because a living dog is better than a dead lion. <laughs> Not just hope, a lively hope. First Peter 1.3 a, a lively hope. Not only hope, a hope that makes not ashamed. Romans 5 5. So, no believer's case can ever become hopeless. Hopeless. No believer's case can ever become hopeless. That marriage situation is not hopeless. God can reverse it if you allow His light to enter into you. Do you know some broken homes today? I am sorry, genuinely. From the heavy man is enough to solve the problem. <laughs> and from the arrogant woman, I'm sorry, is enough to rid him or her of this lifelong ordeal. You smile when you come out of the room, but you get to the room. And behind it is lack of light. God said, Love your wife as husband, love your husband. Christ loved you to say, no, not my wife. Nobody can love my wife. Not even Papa. <laughs> I mean, obey your mind and everything. No, 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 no. That's before. Old Testament. <laughs> it's a new generation of love your wife for what? Submit to your husband for what? In everything. Abba. No way. And so tension multiplies and multiplies. 
Somebody saw this changing. Yeah. The good news is your days of captivity are finally over. Yeah. Most of the show we make, sir, they are influenced either by the spirit of life or by the spirit of darkness. They're influenced. They're influenced. We saw Judas decided to betray Jesus after hearing a most direct message. A most direct message. And what happened? Satan entered him. Luke 22 verse 3. That's not normal. Am I the one who said you are the one? Isn't that enough to repent? It doesn't matter. Excuse me. I'm going to check my family. <laughs> he went to the Pharisees to negotiate. How much are you going to pay? Are you still ready? I'm ready. Permanently ready. Forever ready. He sold his master and went to hell. It wasn't Judas. Sir. Took him and began to rebuke him. Stop that nonsense. Can't die. Ah. Jesus looked at him. He saw his eyes had come wide. Get it behind me, Satan. Then he came back to his journey. So he said, I'm blessing me like this. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, it's, it's amazing. First Chronicles 21. David woke up one morning on the wrong side of the bed. He called the elders and Joab, the chief of defense. Go and number yourself for me. I'm King David. <laughs> uh, he said, oh God, wait. God said we shouldn't. God what? God will talk to you without talking to me? Go and number the place. It was it's Waterloo. It was greatly distressed. And he said Satan we stood him on his right side. He stood by his side. Read that for me, please. First Chronicles 21, verse 1. So most of the times we think that what we are saying is just we. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. Behind that provocation was Satan. May every decision that Satan has influenced in anyone's life be reversed today. Amen. Some will be quoting their culture in managing their home. In my family, nobody ever stands up to insult an husband and retain in that house. My four, 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 four father said that it must never happen. Therefore, go out. Where is that written? Written for where? As I see the culture of our family. family. Go, go. Don't go. I kill you. <laughs> Man, be no. There's all kinds of things. Are you a Christian? May every negative influence of these invisible forces working against anyone's life be broken off today. <laughs> It's a time for a change of story. Yeah. The good news is that there is hope for you. Yeah. You not only be set free, it will render double back to you for all you may have lost. Yeah. So spiritual illumination is a mystery that dispels the powers of darkness. Jesus, the light of the world, came in here and Satan said, have you come to torment us before the time? Light always torments darkness. Luke 8 and verse 28. When the demoniac saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him with a loud voice, said, What have I to do with you, thou son of God? Thou son of God, most high, I beseech thee, torment me not. Light will always torment darkness. Jesus said, as long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. 
So the things you used to fear, we start fearing you from now. As light enters into your spirit, on how much far above of the devil you are, darkness will start clearing the way when you are coming. In Luke chapter 3, verse 34, we had this other dimension of it. When that evil spirit, what, that demoniac saw Jesus, let us alone. What are we to do with it? Thou, Jesus of Nazareth, how thou come to destroy us? Light always destroys darkness. So, darkness is ever at the mercy of light. When light is coming and darkness wants to remain darkness, it clears the way away from light. Away from light. In the precious name of Jesus, the days of the torment of the past of darkness, they are over in your life. <laughs> Somebody believe and let me hear you now. Now, 1979, I had a testimony about Smith Wigglesworth from a book titled The Apostle of Faith. And I saw there a display of the far above status of a believer. In that testimony, he had some noise in the sitting room and took his lantern. There were no electricity in those days. And went to sit in the room and saw a figure with a horn on the head, rocking on his chair. And we go what? Just snuffed. I didn't even know it's you, the devil. And went to sleep and woke up the following morning. <laughs> then came to light, Ephesians 2, verse 6. We have been raised up together with him. Made us together with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And located far above, Ephesians 1, 20 and 21. All principles and powers. So by redemption, you have been in position. Have been in position. Far above the realm where the tormentor operates. Hallelujah. Far above. Come and say far above. Far above. Let me hear you say far above. far above. Can a lizard chase you from your house? With red head. <laughs> Amen. And you ran to church. You say, what's happening? One lizard chased me out of the house. <laughs> no, no, no. The devil is less than a rat. When compared by, with your new position in Christ. Less than what? I was looking for any devil to demonstrate the reality of this fact. It entered my spirit. Not that in my head. It entered my spirit. I received it hook, line, and sinker. So a senior brother of mine was invited to speak in the place and he couldn't go. He said, David, can you go there for me? I said, why not? <laughs> Satan, you're in trouble today. <laughs> After preaching, I made a call for salvation. They came. I said, now, listen to me. How many of you are witches here? And they stood up in number. I rejoice. You know, people used to fear witches. Yes. I rejoice. As I said, Satan, I'm not saying how many of you have, have been you know, accused of being a witch. You are a practicing witch. Stand up. And they stood up. I called one of them and said, come on here. What do you do with the devil? He said, anytime I want to suck blood, we get on the highway and cause the vehicle come in to some assault and we suck the blood of the victims. I said, without hesitation, or when people like us are coming. Hmm? He said, when we sense a higher power on the way, we clear off the highway. The only power darkness recognizes is the power of light. What made me to make that altar call was light. I was intoxicated with light. The fact that I've been repositioned overran my system. I wasn't guessing. Sir, light is sweet. Light is sweet. Light is sweet. It's a beautiful thing for the eyes to behold the sun. Light is sweet. Without light, life is meaningless. Without light, life is meaningless. Watch it from the natural. Without sunlight, there will be no plant life. Without plant life, animal life cannot survive. Without plant life, animal life. So it all begins with light. Light comes down, the plant life blossoms, animal, animal life is savaged to be sustained. Light is it. Light is it. A man came from the condition. Go downstairs, who are in the old church, 
get a book called Satan Get Lost. When you finish, come back. Can I give you seven days? Say, why not? So he went and came back smiling. No, not the same man. His figure, his visage has changed. Ah, I said, how are you? He said, fine. I didn't know Satan is that, yeah, it's as cheap as this. I didn't know Satan. He was laughing over the head of the devil. Everything turned by access to light. In the same way today, everything making you to cry will turn around like a dream of the night. <laughs> Can you imagine arm robbers, tough ones, experienced ones? If they hear the siren of the convoy of a president, no matter the charm they carry, won't they take over? They will tell you to hold on, please go, 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 go. Something higher than us is on the way. In the same way, from now, wherever you appear, darkness will take over. <laughs> Many people here will hear news. Oh. This week, you will hear news. You will hear news of the torture of the past of darkness. You will hear news of the destruction of the past of darkness. In the name of Jesus. I once saw a madman here on the Jury Road. They were asking him to clear the road. The trailer was coming. We were just moving by Jessica Lee on the main road. When the man put the throttle, he jumped. Even in madness, he knew danger. He knew danger. Every wicked soul that sights you from today will see you as a danger spot. Will see you as a danger spot. And this is one reason why the devil goes about blindfolding the eyes of men, casting veil on their eyes, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, which is the image of God, should shine on them. Second Corinthians 4.4. 4. He wants us blinded to the light of the gospel so he can keep making a mismate of our lives. But that veil was done away with in Christ. The veil was turned into it. So no devil has any legal right to blind your mind and your spirit again. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I command those veils taken off your faith. Yeah. When you find a believer saying, I don't care what the world says. It's not him talking, no. It's the devil talking through him. I don't care what the world says. Do you care about heaven? I don't care. Are you not a pastor? I'm not a pastor anymore. You know already that that man is already off, sir. Something is influencing his language, influencing his thoughts. No. All kinds of things. Oh, I've been a pastor for some time. All kinds of things. All kinds of things. Someone was caught there when they went into minister. He said he was an active member of the church in Kaduna in the days of the revival. And I was an arm, it was in the an arm robbery gang. He said, Bishop should not know that I'm in this place. My heart went after him. You mean you sang for Jesus? You work for Jesus? And you are not a member of an arm robbery gang? I said, you should take me there. They said, sir, don't worry. We don't want to take you there. My heart went after him. You know why? No light to display the powers of darkness that influenced him to join that group. No light. No light. For a believer to come to church in the morning and be wandering around in the night to a native doctor's place to complicate his matter. Satan has nothing good to offer, sir. Neither is agent. Satan has nothing good to offer. Neither is agent. Many believers are going through multiplied sorrow because they are hasting after another God. The end has come to your deal. Yeah. I'm 54 years young in the faith. I've not 
been tempted to go after another God for one reason. Have you been challenged? Oh, yes. You can't be a champion without challenges. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> can't be a champion without challenges. Did you go to the school to pass exam? Did you go to school? <laughs> and yet you won't study. Where will you pass? And I say, made this incantation that will make you forget all the other ones you have read. <laughs> the entire destiny without the owner knowing it. In the precious name of Jesus, every form of trap of the wicked to get you derailed, to shatter and destroy destinies is declared over today. Yeah. Somebody believe that? Let me hear you loud as amen. Can I have you say with me, it's my turn at last. <laughs> it's my turn at last. <laughs> Every time light breaks forth, one's head springs forth speedily and death is swallowed up in victory. Isaiah 58 and verse 8 talking about the reason for prayer and fasting then shall your light break forth like the morning and your head shall spring forth speedily when light steps in darkness steps out there is no procedure there is no process at the instance of light darkness goes if you came here with any siege of sickness on your life and they have Put a verdict that you never come out of it. Right now, by your understanding of the fact that you have been in position hmm, to dominate in the realm of darkness, I command your instant healing in the name of Jesus. That hereditary disease is caused in the name of Jesus. That cycle of evil occurring is over in the name of Jesus. When the veil is removed among the blessings in Isaiah 25, verse 6 and 7, and in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make for him, make for all people, unto all people, a feast of far things, a feast of wines on the lees, of far things full of marrow, and of wines on the lees where they find. And it will destroy the face of covering that is cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory. When the veil is removed and light breaks forth, among other things, death is swallowed up in victory. So everyone appointed to death under the sound of my voice today, you are liberated. The net is broken by light and you have finally escaped. I saw this testimony in 1983 from a book, um, I mean, reference from a book by Bob Mumford titled Face Off with a Miracle. A woman stood up from the wheelchair without knowing. She was in the laundry. She was on the wheelchair and went forward to rinse some of those clothes and discovered the wheelchair was behind and was standing on her feet. Light entered, darkness gave way, paralysis disappeared. That's the power of light. In the name of Jesus, as light enters your spirit man, it will impart directly on every aspect of your life. Yeah. Nothing liberates from captivity like applied revelation. You've caught it and you engage with it. No devil can stop it from coming to pass. There are two levels of spiritual insight. We have revelation and we have illumination. Illumination. Revelation shows the way to go. Illumination clears the way of all obstacles. When light is coming, darkness can't stand. 
you know the way to go, okay, but there are barriers of darkness on the way. So when you are illuminated, you become a spiritual illuminant, the path of darkness clear the way where you're coming. Therefore, from now, as you step out into any place, the path of darkness will step out of the place. Amen. Everyone must strive to move from the realm of revelation to the realm of illumination, but that is the only way to stay free from the captivity of the path of darkness. You will not be recaptured again. You will not be recaptured again. Now, how do we assess the light that rescues from the path of darkness? Quickly, as we close. One, one must be born again. No one can jump that queue, sir. To assess any inheritance of redemption, one must be born Jesus said to Nicodemus, he said, you must be born again. No, you may. <laughs> you must be. Not you will, but you must be. Not you shall, but you must be born again. I cannot see anything God is showing. A, an unborn baby can't see anything you are showing. You say, baby, you know what? We are now in faith tabernacle in the second service. And Papa is ministering. He said, I hear <laughs> Uh, and you think, is he hearing you? No, he can't see. He's not born. Until one is born again, he cannot see anything God is showing. He can't see. He can be 100 years in church, he can't see. New birth is not an ideology, it's an experience. He can't see. Until us is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to them that are outside, all these things are mere stories. They are mere stories. They can't see it. I said, just pray for us. All this preaching. What is preaching about? He can't see it. He just wants prayer. <laughs> if you pray for him now and he has a chance, he'll go and line up again. <laughs> he needs many prayers. <laughs> he can't see it. New birth is a must. Number two, one must commit to walk in the fear of God to retain access to revelation. Because the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. Psalm 25 and verse 14. And you know, the secret thing belongs unto God. Only what he reveals can we assess. Deuteronomy 29 verse 29. So the fear of God is a must, like we saw in the case of Daniel, in the case of Moses, I mean the case of Joseph. But I fear God. And God began to show him unusual things that it was said to be wiser than all the men of Egypt. Mm. But I fear God, is his testimony. He has no credentials. And as much as God has shown you all this, there's no one as wise and as you are. So revelation answers to the fear of God as a lifestyle. Living anyhow disqualifies people of access. Living anyhow disqualifies people of access. <laughs> Living anyhow disqualifies people of access. Of Daniel, it was said, there was no error or fault found in him. What a man. And then, there's a man in the kingdom. What an introduction. In the days of your, your father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods was in him. Light, understanding, wisdom. Daniel chapter 5, verse 11. They answer to people that commit to walk in the fear of God. Number three, We must continue to pray to assess, for access to revelation on every subject of interest. Every subject of interest. Open up my eyes that I behold wondrous things out of thy law on this issue. On this issue. Why is my home not working? What's going on? What's wrong with me? And then you carry materials. That will help you understand it. You carry your Bible. And you are genuinely in search of an answer. In search, genuinely in search. Well, I, I know what to do. I'm a man of myself. If you are under tension, you are the one to suffer it. So why don't you find an answer? Why is this not growing? I need an answer. So I went into prayer three days. Don't ask those questions for fun. Ask them for meaning. Ask them for solution. 
And on the third day, light broke forth. The church is still growing today. Far back, 22nd, I mean, far back 24th, sorry, of March 1984. Church is still growing. Every answer from the Lord never lacks proofs. If pursued, if engaged with. Lord showed me the secret of kingdom of prosperity, and it did. 1982, March 22nd. It was a 20th to 22nd prayer and fasting time and searching. Prayer, fasting, and searching. Are you interested in solution? Take steps. No one goes forward sitting down. Go forward, taking steps. Our in is God's favor. Gather materials, gather teachings that speak on the favor of God and is manifested in the life of God's people and plug your life into misfortune with me. Light. No shortcut. He that seeketh find it, to him that knocketh the door shall be open. What we don't seek, we can't find. What we don't seek, we can't find. Somebody's coming out right now. <laughs> you are that one, let me hear your loudest amen. Pray for access to revelation. Four, keep engaging the ministry of the Holy Spirit to access revelation from scriptures and through anointed books on any subject of concern. You know what you are looking for. You go to a Christian bookshop, it's like going to a chemist looking for drugs that will address your sickness or disease. So you go to a bookshop, you're looking for materials that will address your situation. Somebody was under torture for 17 years of three diseases, hypertension, uh, dizziness, uh, high blood pressure, for 17 years. I had a team that was praying and fasting, yet the thing didn't move. He now went to a bookshop and bought three books, how faith works, because now faith has not proved that it works. In fact, how it works. And kiss to divine healing by Kennedy again. How faith works like Freddie Casey Price. And kiss to divine health, the one I wrote. And sat down with the book, sir. And he stood up with three days. Three days was more than enough to shatter 17 years of bandage. Three days. Light came, darkness fled. In the same vein, no matter how long you have been in, under that siege, when you are you en you engage with the appropriate light, from scriptures, it will clear. It will clear the way. <laughs> no one will see the mark of the wicked on your life anymore. <laughs> Darkness shall not have a sway on your life anymore. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Come and give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. <laughs> we are in for the best of time. Amen. Amen. Number five, stay in love with God to retain access to light. God will always reveal himself to his lovers. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Oh, God has in store for them that love him. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For his spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. First Corinthians 2, 9 and 10. Some of us have some friends that are far away from Nigeria, but they know everything about you. When you close in the service today, you still call them. Hey, I'm just leaving church right now on my way home. When I get to my talk to you, there's something very important. Now, someone next to your house there, who is also a member of this church, but you are not in a relationship. He doesn't know your whereabouts. He doesn't know where you're going or where you're coming from. But love has no distance. Love has what? So when you are in love with God, he unveils himself. He reveals himself to you. Stay in love. Will I do this and not tell Abraham, my friend? No, Abraham should know. Abraham, you know what? The cry of Sodom has come into my ears. I'm coming down to destroy it. Abraham said, wait a minute, sir. Will you destroy the righteous of the wicked? If there are 50 righteous men, will you see? They are in a relationship, sir. God will confide in Abraham what he wants to do. So about your life, when you are truly in law, he, he flows freely into your life. You are not begging him. He flows freely into your life. May the love of God keep burning hot in your life. <laughs> Paul, the great lover, was Paul 
of unlimited revelation. He was a man with such strange revelation. Mysteries never known in all ages were revealed to him. What shall separate me from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus? For me to live is Christ, to die is gain. He was all out for God. God was all out for him. He was pouring himself into him. It's your turn. Amen. It's your turn. Amen. You can study forever. If you are not in law, you are limited in access. Access to revelation demands law. Demands law. You can come to my house 20 times. If I have no relationship with you, I can't let you know where I'm going tomorrow. But if I am, even if you don't come, I'll call you and say, I'm going somewhere tomorrow. Number six, we must retain joy and rejoicing in our hearts so as to sustain access to his presence where he shows us the path of life. Psalm 16, verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life. For in thy presence is fullness of joy. On your right hand, there are pleasures for the We need access to his presence to assess the path of life. We are instructs, he rebukes, he corrects to the position of us for triumph. We need joy and rejoicing to assess that. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3 Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. Therefore, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, What? Rejoice. Rejoice evermore. Why? It's a qualifier for access to revelation and sustaining the channel at the same time. Finally, number seven, we must continue to give glory to God for both access and impact of the light of his world. Don't assume it's your intellectual prowess. It's the light he shows that we can access. It is God who has shown us light, not our intellect. God showed us light. Psalm 118 verse 27. The secret thing belong to God, the things he reveals. So we are not celebrating our capacity to know, but our grace to assess is light, which he makes available. You don't give him glory, he turns to darkness. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 15 and 6 to 17, he said, Hear ye, and give ear, and not be proud, for the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord, who before he causes darkness, and before your feet stumble on the dark mountains, and while you look for light, he turns into shadow of death and makes it gross darkness. Give glory to God for the light before it turns into darkness. Let's learn to give glory to him. The things he's shown me, he's shown you, they are not by our might or by our strength, by our intellectual capacity, but as he reveals them to us. To him alone be all the glory. Lift up your right hand, everyone, and give God thanks. Give God thanks, everybody. Give him glory and praise. No one like our God. He reigns forever and ever. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Give the Lord the biggest hand of praise. Many people have just been rescued now. Yeah. It begins from your sleep tonight. Yeah. It shall be so sweet. Yeah. That man that we shared his testimony in the first service said, I now look forward to sleep in the night. Before he was afraid. Because of diverse encounters through nightmares. But now Jesus has overturned the suicidal thought and has given rest to him, no more nightmare. And the story changed. By the light of today, everything holding you bound either to is broken off your life. Yeah. Very quickly, you are here, you allow me to pray with you to be born again, become a child of God, begin to walk in the light of scriptures. Wherever you are, stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. You want to say, Jesus, save my soul. Stand to your feet right now. Stand to your feet right now. Stand to your feet right now. And God bless you as you do. God bless you as you do. There are also people here. 
this morning that need to reconnect back to God, they dedicate their lives back to Jesus. You have gone away somehow, you know it, and you want to return today, but until you return, you cannot be restored. Wherever you are, stand to your feet also. Jesus, I'm dedicating my life to you today. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. God bless you. Stand to your feet. It's your time for a change of story. Stand to your feet. Now, there are quite many people in the body of Christ today that can't tell when they were born again. You better. It's, it's, it's never late to be right. It's never late to be right. It's never late to be right. Don't appropriate salvation. It's a risk. It's never late to be right. If you are here today, you want to be assured of your salvation, stand to your feet right now. I'll pray with you. Right there where you are. I'll pray with you right there where you are. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody standing, please bow your heads for prayers. Bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand to heaven. And pray this prayer of faith after me. Saying, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again. That I might be justified. Right now, I believe. My sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm not a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the faith. By your grace, I shall serve you all the days of my life. Amen. Keep your hands up as I pray. Father, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace has brought them in. Let same grace preserve them. I cover each of you with the precious blood of Jesus. They may covered against all further assaults of the enemy. The grace that found you today will keep you for life. Grace to lead your commerce life, receive it right now. Grace to make heaven at the end of your journey, receive it right now. In Jesus' precious name. Congratulations. Congratulations. And congratulations. Please be seated. Ensure to fill the little card given to you and pass them on to the church officials around with you who want to be part of your joy and help us of your faith. Fill those forms legibly. We'll reach out to you on your telephone number to direct you to the nearest place for your Believer Foundation class, which hosts every Monday, 6 to 7, 30 p.m. Every Monday. You go for only two Mondays. You run through the six lessons, and you're empowered to live a triumphal Christian life. Don't miss that for anything. In case your work schedule will not allow for that, we have the online version. You have it on the screen. Get serious about your engagement. Login is for free. And you'll be blessed accordingly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand to your feet, everyone. Amen. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, was he preserved. Today, I decree an end to every siege of the past of darkness over an area of your life. Yeah. Be free in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Grace to take responsibility in pursuit of light so as to stay free from the assault of the past of darkness. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Yeah. May today mark the dawning of a new day in your life. Yeah. Now, pray this simple prayer. Lord, grace to be in pursuit of more and more light. I receive it. You know, light is in degrees. Light is in degrees. Grace to be in pursuit of more and more light from your word. I receive it. The more light we are set, the freer we become. The more light we are set, the freer we become. Grace to be in pursuit of more and more light. So as to stay freer by the day, I receive it. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Testimonies are prophetic. Whosoever believes in those testimonies, they reproduce in their lives. People have jumped out of horror through light. 
you must jump out of it. You must jump out of it. Somebody say, I read this book, I read that book. Get into it and free yourself. A woman was being followed by some siege in Central Africa, a French woman. She read the book, winning visible battles, and that evil force walked out of her body like a human figure. And she became free. The misfortune ended. The misfortune ended. Whatever she did, and she's near triumph, it breaks off. But it ended that day. It wasn't half reading that book when it happened. The light required to establish your freedom, receive grace for it in the name of Jesus. I have these books that will help you conquering controlling spirit. You think it's your decision, it's been influenced. You can break it. Conquering controlling spirit. Satan get lost. It's also online because you don't have your hard copies. The force of freedom is a liberation of revelation. What it does to set free and free indeed. And winning invisible battles. These materials will help to keep you free the remaining days of your life. You will never be recaptured again. Yeah. You are free this time and free for life. Yeah. By your new repositioning, no more harassment of the wicked on your life. The reality of your being far above principles and powers will become a testimony in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Two scriptures and we share the goodness. Ecclesiastes 4, 13 and 14. There is more hope. He said, better is a poor and a wise child than an old foolish king who will no more be admonished. For out of the prison the poor white child comes to reign. Whereas also he that is born in the kingdom becomes a peasant. Or poor. There's so much depth in the word of God that we don't know much. Let him that thinks he knows, he knows that he doesn't know anything yet as he ought to. Let's commit to an ever searching life for deeper light on the issue of life. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. Hmm. Verse 10. Read verse 10 of it, please. Proverbs 9, 10. Now read 11. For by me thy days shall be multiplied and the years of thy life. And verse 12. Thou be wise, thou shalt be wise to thyself, but if thou scornest, it's your turn. As the Lord lives, this marks a new chapter in your life. The threat of death is over in your life. Yeah. Guess what? Entrance means entrance of the word into your spirit. I slept one night many years ago and I saw myself in a coffin. And I responded in the sleep. Satan, you must be daft. For it is written, there is no wisdom nor cast and understanding in the grave. No one sees him there, in the grave and stay there. Ah, he understands it. He fled. Some sleep and don't wake because they saw themselves in the coffin. When the word enters you, sir, whether you are asleep or awake, it keeps walking. It keeps walking. That's the mystery about revelation. It keeps walking. When the light enters your spirit, it keeps walking. It keeps walking. You never suffer a setback anymore. Lift up those two hands. Now, the same light that has put your church on top at all times and in every place becomes your new experience. Yeah. The grossness of darkness only enhances the impact of light. No darkness can subdue the power of light. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, everything you have been thinking is stopping your way forward. 
will clear as if they never existed. Your spirit man is released to flow in the light. Every time you take your Bible, I decree the outbreak of light. Your freedom is here. Just I'm sorry from a spouse can end all the ordeal of the threat of separation and divorce. I'm sorry. You know you are wrong. The Bible says you are wrong. I'm sorry. I mean it. The devil will flee. When you stand on the truth, he can't stand. When the believer stands on the truth, he can't stand. When you stop playing games in your business, things will go forward. If you stop playing games, you'll be at the same spot. My prayer is that the same grace upon your church that behind the proofs we keep saying we become your new experience. Yeah. You'll never suffer a backward trend anymore. Yeah. Every delayed marital destiny is released. Yeah. Delayed fruitfulness is released. Yeah. Every invisible battle against your life is declared won. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Go in peace. For everyone partaking of the in garden going on right now in the 11th hour operation, change of story, your story will not stop changing all the days of your life. Yeah. Not only for this season, but for life. Yeah. For those who will join us this week, we have only two more weeks or three more weeks to go. You better connect. You better connect. You better connect. The last days, everybody's days, we are running to the end of it. You shall see wonders. And next Sunday, come and enter into a covenant of peace. That will make God take over your battle. And you walk in liberty. When you hold your peace, I'll fight for you. If you hold your peace, I can't fight for you. May your days of struggling to make this happen come to an end. Be blessed. Shall we together share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship? Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the Covenant Highways of Life. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed as you do.